Wrestling Report Feedback Friday for Friday, March 27th, wow. 2015. David Hero, it's Shenanigans Friday. It is a Friday of Shenanigans. Tonight, San Jose Tonight. Bar and Grill, it's the Kevin Nash Hall of Fame pre-party. It is going to be the biggest party event of WrestleMania weekend. It is weekend. the biggest and sexiest party of WrestleMania. Oh, I see what you did there. Ah, Big sexy. You see that, right? It's Tickets still available, folks. PWRshow.com. And at the door as well, you can purchase your way into this one night only exclusive event with Kevin Nash, Thea Rosita Trinidad, Melina Perez, uh, Shelly Martinez, SoCal Val, who's, it's her birthday, by the it way, is. tonight. Gunner is going to be there. Gunner, Al Snow. Your dear friend, Abyss. Why would, Jesse you, why would you invite him to that? And there are <laughs> but, names, David Hero, I hear. I've heard yes. by uh, Gene Okerlund's hotline, that there, because it's too hot for TV and too hot for the Internet, that there, will, there are going to be people there whose names we cannot speak of. Well, no, because we'll get a cease and desist order. But and they'll get in trouble. The fact of the matter is this, is that it's not just shenanigans. It is the official Hall of Fame party for Kevin Nash. Official deemed by? By Kevin Nash. Who's going into the? Hall of Fame. Tomorrow night this is in like picture pages all of a sudden here in San Jose, California. Yes, indeed, folks. But this is Feedback Friday, so let's get back to it as we launch on the trail of our WrestleMania week coverage. And speaking of WrestleMania week coverage, David Hero. Yes. Yesterday, yes. on my website, under my brand name. Yes. Hey. The David Hero Show returned. How about that? It was a hot show, literally. I have Definitely. the Parents Television Council after me. Really? So you I got, have Jesse Jackson after me. Well, he's after everybody. But he's why would actually, he after you? Well, he's after Crystal. <sighs> Shocking. Al Sharpton is coming after me. Uh, of course he is. Well, I'd rather, I, yeah, good luck with that. Your first show was Al Snow, Scotty Tuhati, and then now you have... have Domino and, and Linda Kay. You can't beat that. <sighs> You, Feedback Friday, it's folks. a shenanigans week. It's and WrestleMania. In this show, what we do is we respond to your comments that you have submitted to us via YouTube and other means across the social media channels. Now, we don't use anything that you've submitted to us via Match.com or uh, what's the other site you're on? FreakyFarmers.com yeah, or something that, like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but uh, let's go to our first comment. This comes from uh, YouTube, and it is in regards to Roman Reigns. Now, let's frame it, David Hero. Last show we did, I said, reference Roman Reigns, yes. that there is a lot of ignorant hate out there for him because people don't get it and don't see him as the next big thing. Right. So first uh, response to that came from a user on YouTube by the name of Reviews and Stuff. It says, and I quote, I respect your opinions, but, but I don't. There's that word again. Here but I don't understand why you were pushing Roman so hard. Yes, he is big, uh, an okay wrestler, and good looking. But he's awful on the microphone and has very limited move set. Today's fans care about work rate and in ring ability. The fact that WWE has a wrestling god in Daniel Bryan, who is as over as anyone ever, and decided to push Roman Reigns instead just shows how out of touch Vince McMahon has become. Yes, Roman is big and will look good on a poster. But everyone will never get behind him the way they are with Brian. Why this person you? answered their own question. Exactly. In the statement. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By but saying, yes, he does look good on a poster. He does. And, and wrestling is a cosmetic business. That's why I'm in it. Look what, okay. Proven point. Daniel Bryan grew a beard cosmetically to look different, right? Yes. So now he has the goat face beard. Yes. That, that'll get me going. The fact is... Roman Reigns is being pushed because that's what WWE wants. Yes. Okay. Ultimate Warrior was the world champion. Yes. Terrible mic skills. Yes. Right? Horrible moveset. Yes. One of the most over baby faces of all time. Yes. And Macho Man Randy Savage was along with him. So was the Million Dollar Man. Two great wrestling gods that played second and third fiddle because you need role players to help other stars. The comments continued on YouTube. This one comes from Dave Langer, who says, and I quote, it's pretty laughable that you think Reigns is the one to be pushed and there is no one else. Because I did also challenge the audience to tell us who else yeah. should be if not Why him. Why do you do that? Do you really even watch WWE or are you just trolling? Is that what people do in bars? I thought it's when, when you go fishing. That's trouting. No, it's, you troll for fish. Trowel. Okay, with your accent, it's trolling. Reigns is terrible in the ring. His comeback is a bunch of clotheslines and a punch and a spear. Mm -hmm. What was Hogan's comeback? <sighs> he would hulk up, punch, punch, throw on the ropes, big boot, leg drop. Hmm. He can't call a match at all. He is terrible at promos. Well, that first is why. Of all, wait, stop. 
Heels call the match, not baby faces. That is why WWE didn't dare give him a live mic during that Daniel Bryan match. Plus, he gets gassed after five minutes of ring time. It was funny watching that 45-minute tag match where Daniel Bryan did most of the work, and at the end, Reigns was more tired than Bryan. Who cares? You want people that could carry the company over Reigns. You can't be serious. There is anyone else better suited. Uh, Daniel Bryan, for one. Then you have Seth Rollins, who are way better and more ready than Reigns. Even Dean Ambrose is better suited than Reigns. But not to be the world champion. You're forgetting it's become, it, you become the face of the company. Dean Ambrose is not the face of the company. Seth Rollins is not the face of the company. Daniel Bryan was for three months. And you don't know, continuing the comment here from Dave, and you don't know what charisma even is if you think Reigns had it. He doesn't. He has the it factor. That's more than charisma. The way Reigns should have been booked was he eliminates Rusev from the Royal Rumble around the 25 number mark, and then Rusev pulls him over the ropes to eliminate him from the Royal Rumble to set up a WrestleMania match for the U.S. title. Stop. This is, I'd be the booker, not this joker. All right, we'll continue then. We'll forego, continue down uh, and see what else Dave had to say here, since we will be doing Be the Booker tomorrow it's for WrestleMania. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Seth Rollins cashing in Money in the Bank on the Royal Rumble winner. Daniel Bryan would have to beat Lesnar at WrestleMania. Never We've talked happen. about that match. Then when Reigns wins the WWE title at next year's WrestleMania. You're really, you're really, you're really giving this that much more time? If okay. the match at WrestleMania is just Reigns versus Lesnar, it's going to be a disaster. Reigns is not ready yet for the WWE title, and it's laughable you think just because he has the look that he should be WWE champion and the face of WWE. I almost want to get up and walk away because the problem is this. It's all about the look, folks. Look at The Rock. It's all about the look. The Rock has five You don't moves. have to like it. You don't have to love it, but it's all about the look. If you don't have the look, if you can't be on ESPN as Roman Reigns was, Reigns was a couple of days ago, if you can't be on Conan O'Brien, if you can't be on SportsCenter, if you don't have the look, if you will, you will not be the star the in WWE. Kind of the machine continues. The machine gets behind the look because why? Women and children want the look and the look is what sells tickets. It always has. It always. Great it wrestlers always don't sell tickets. The look sells tickets. Again, go to my point. The biggest stars in professional wrestling, with the exception of Steve Austin, who is a hybrid of and a wrestler Cody and a worker, The Rock, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, great workers. They could, they, they could make people believe Workers, anything. not wrestlers. Yes, wrestlers. It's a big difference. Wow, you got kind of heated there. I'm impressed. You showed passion, fire, life. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Trying to grab that brass ring. Uh, Jorge Aya, 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 brass. Okay. Jorge Ayala says you. this, uh, and I quote: "Some stuff never changes." Damian Nelson, you are and will always be a <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> you always agree on everything WWE does, no matter what. David Hero with one R, you are cool. Yeah. It's a douchebag. I don't wear deep V's that, and bars. That, that 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 sucks. I don't have a gold chain. No, you don't. Bro, you gotta stop living that gimmick. Oh, I'm here, he's not, so uh, somebody's winning. It must be me. <laughs> Thank you for those comments, folks. And remember, again tonight, it's Shenanigans San Jose. San Jose Bar and Grill, 10 o'clock p.m. to 2 o'clock a.m. Big sexy wait, 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 Kevin wait, wait, Nash. Wait, 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 a big wait, wait, wait. toast to Can Kevin Nash at midnight. Can you like that? Can you still go that long? What are you asking me? Well, because there's going to be a lot of Jameson tonight, and I get worried with you at, at that, you know. I am a machine that Listen, is fueled last year in, no, in New Orleans, yeah. okay, uh -huh. you were a karaoke king. Yeah. Is that going to happen tonight? I sang. Uh, perhaps if the audience is, uh, is wanting it, which okay. I'm sure they do, I, then perhaps I I'll do a little ditty. P. Diddy? I'm not a fan of him at all. <laughs> Uh, but San Jose Bar and Grill, tickets available, pwrshow.com. Again, there are over 20 names that are going to be there for your enjoyment and your celebration of Kevin Nash's induction into the WWE Hall of Fame tomorrow night at, in San Jose as part of WrestleMania weekend. And tomorrow night as well, David Hero, brand new edition of PWR Primetime Television, one hour long, Be the Booker. And segments as well from San Jose, California. Uh, my dear friend Josh Eisenberg is going to be joining us uh, on primetime Who? tomorrow night as well. Josh Eisenberg from the uh, Chair Shot Reality Show online. I thought it was just Ghoulish on the bar. That kid's still no, there? No, it's just Ghoulish and Eisenberg. Oh. The other guy, I think he got fired. 
That would have some kind of barbarian or something. Yeah. Got in some trouble. Mm -hmm. He's in the Philippines recently. Uh, but uh, that is tomorrow night, 10 o'clock p.m. here on YouTube, PWRShow.com, and of course on My24 Milwaukee. So until then, folks, we will see you tonight at Shenanigans San Jose for that one. This, one. this is Damian Nelson saying so long, and we'll see you at the party. And then tomorrow for prime time. Why are you staring at me? Because You're so enthusiastic. I can't believe you. I can't believe you read the email where the guy called you a douchebag. That's just f so frickin' funny to me. Why? You think I'm sensitive or something? No, not I, at all. I don't think, think you're sensitive. Think it bothers me that, 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 that this jackass on the internet behind that called me a douchebag? <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a fucking douchebag that there is. <laughs> You get all butthurt when people call you names, too, and names that are way, way, way less... Like Dave? Yeah. <laughs> no. Really. All right, let's uh, do this. Five